My name is Tom Sweeney. I was one of the first four or five employees here at the tap room. I walked in when there was nothing here. There was no windows. There was no bars. There was nothing. And I started helping, and the next thing I knew, I was here 70, 80 hours a week. I'll never forget the first weekend. We had no furniture for the club room. We had a very, very small stairway going down. They were just brutally dangerous. But that didn't seem to stop the public. They took our bags of grain and malt and everything we had for brewing up on, in the club room before anything was there. And we went up there in the middle of the first night and there was furniture built out of bags of malt and bags of grain. And at that point, we all realized, well, this was pretty much going to be something special. And the people we saw opening weekend never left. We just kept adding to them. We were ready for the public not to enjoy our beer because we knew it was different. We knew that it was probably stronger tasting and more bitter and hoppier than anything they had ever had because it was hoppier and everything than anything I had ever had. But the thing was with us is our attitude was, if you didn't care for that one, try the next one. What style are you looking for? Do you like heavy or dark? And we would just, we threw a lot down the drain in order to let them taste something until they did like something. And most, almost always they did. And then the people that understood that beer was going in a new direction in other cities other than in St. Louis jumped right on the train. Guys like Joe Edwards, they understood from day one. Even places like Sydney Street, you know, we got, we got them right away. Um, the train wrecks of the world, O'Connell's, they all saw the change coming, they jumped on. They just had no alternatives until we came. It was fun being the underdog. Every, it was always fun. All the Anheuser-Busch guys at that time used to have starch shirts, and I'd go in in a pair of cutoffs and a Schlafly beer is not just for breakfast anymore shirt, and just walk right past. Dan and Tom, 20 years, hard to believe it. Despite ourselves, here we all sit, more successful than anybody ever could have dreamed from day one. Congratulations, hope you have another good 20.